Alrighty mate, so now that we understand the concept of how these spiders are going to be created, let's go ahead and start creating them. So right now we don't have a whole lot going on. So whenever we make an instance of this class, whenever we make a spider, boom. So let's take a look at our code. All right, so right now our spider is gonna be created and he's gonna be sitting there like, um, am I supposed to be doing something here? I guess that's how the spider is gonna sound. So let's go ahead and give him some information and of course some things to do. So of course for every spider, the user needs to give it some information so it knows exactly what pages it's supposed to be crawling, what project it's working on, so on and so forth. So we're gonna allow the user to pass in the name of the project, such as the new Boston, also the base URL, and this is just gonna be the homepage URL so the first spider knows where to start crawling, and also the domain name. So we can use some cool domain name functions to ensure that we're connecting to a valid web page without generating a bunch of errors. So now what I want to do is, now that we have some information that the user passed in, we want to go ahead and set these to the class variables. And that's going to ensure that all spiders are looking at the same information. So that way, all spiders are crawling the same site, which is a good thing. All right. So for the class variable, just set it equal to whatever the user passed in for the project name. And we're just gonna do this for base URL. Base URL and spider domain name. All right, so again, all spiders are gonna have this shared information. It's never gonna change, no matter if you have 100 spiders or 1,000, whatever. Now, another thing that I wanna do is I wanna set the file path for the queue file and the crowd file. And again, that's just so I don't have to type in the full path every time, just gonna save me a little bit of time. So the queue file is equal to the project name. So something like the new Boston plus queue file, queue.txt. And I'm way too lazy to type all that again. So I'm just gonna say, the file path for the crawled file is equal to crawled. By the way, I'm like, I suddenly got a stuffy nose. Like, I don't know, it just happened today. I was sleeping earlier. And once I get in, I don't know, every half an hour or so, one of my nostrils just starts running. I'm like, what the heck, body? Come on. So stupid nose. All right. So that had nothing to do with Python. <laughs> so let's get back on track here. So once we pretty much set the information for, you know, whatever the user typed in, all these spiders have a general idea of what they're supposed to be doing. We now need to essentially create that project directory and create those two files, those two text files. Now we can go ahead and just type them right in there, but I actually want to stick this in a new method and it's just going to help it, um, you know, my code look a little bit cleaner. So I'm going to call the method boot. So that's what we're gonna be doing in there. And also we're gonna make another method later on called crawl page. And again, all this is gonna do is it's gonna connect to some web page uh, like this one. And it's essentially gonna, you know, do exactly what we've been talking about this whole time. Crawl it, gather links, whatever. Now, check out one thing that I need to mention. So the very first time we create a spider, it's gonna have only one page in the waiting list and that is the home page of the website. So we can't really make a bunch of spiders right off the bat because it'll be pointless. It only has one single page. Now, once that spider, let me, where the heck is my, there it is, all right. So once the spider gathers a bunch of links, let's say it gathers like 40 links from this homepage, that's when we can go ahead and make our program multi-threaded and we're like, hey spiders, go do your thing. So that's how it's gonna work. Now, whenever I crawl a page, what I'm gonna do is in the command prompt, just so the user has something to look at while this program is running, is I'm gonna say the name of the spider, and this is gonna be the name of the thread, like um, thread one, thread two, thread three. So we'll say the name, and what page it's currently crawling. And that way the user just knows something's going on. So again, the first spider, it doesn't run on a thread. So we'll just go ahead and since this function is gonna need a name, we can either just say first spider, um, but I'm just gonna say like a 
let me go ahead and say first spider. All right, that looks pretty good. All right, now another thing that we're gonna throw in here is of course, whenever we call this function, we need to give it a page to crawl. So what page is the first spider going to crawl? Holy raviolis. This base URL, URL which is the home page. And again, this is only going to happen once because later on, after it's done crawling it, it's gonna be in that crawled file so all the rest of the spiders are just gonna ignore it. Simple enough, sweet.